since 1963, we have been able to provide grants to over 300 Filipino artists. Among the famous ones are Jose Hoya, Dean Lucrecia Casilag, and seven others who have become national artists. Most recently, Kidlat Tahimik for film. So with your help, we will be able to provide more grants for the best of our Filipino artists so that we could promote our culture with others and the best and promote the best of the Philippines to the world. It's very important that we as Filipinos support this particular cause primarily because art in my opinion is really the soul and mirror of our, our foundation of our country. It is also important we, that we provide um, to be part of nation building and this is part and uh, parcel of becoming a Filipino. Um, I'm very proud to be part of the board of the ACCP, primarily because it has helped not just th more than 300 artists, but it has cultivated national artists, Philippine national artists, to what they are today. And I think it's going to be quite an exciting auction. So please come. Remember the date, February 22, at 2 p.m. at the Leon Gallery. ACC is important for young artists particularly because um, it gives them an opportunity to expand their vision, to uh, enhance their experiences, and to see contemporary art movements, you know, all at the same time by giving them a very meaningful grant. Our grants are from three months to six months to a year. And people have taken advanced degrees, or they have apprenticed, or they have exhibited, or they have partnered with, uh, in, shall we say, masters of whatever, lighting, dance, even, um, museum, museology, so th those are conservation, for example. So um, ACC in particular um, focuses on young artists, gives them a, a, you know, a leg up in their trajectory, their artistic journey. So that's why I think ACC is important and I hope ACC can be assisted in doing this um, work. I'm Gail Vicente with my colleague MMU from King Kong Art Projects Unlimited. We were um, to the 2009 grantees of the ACC and we'd like to thank the ACC for the support you have given us. As one of the trustees of the Asian Cultural Council, I would like to uh, really uh, emphasize the importance of why our artists in the Philippines should be exposed to uh, trends of uh, art development, uh, especially in the United States. No? Uh, we are a uh, country which is almost isolated as an archipelago, and uh, you know we we are not really exposed to trends abroad. You know? So when the Asian Cultural Council allows our young artists to be able to be given time to really uh, absorb an environment apart from our own. So in so doing, you, know, uh, you are exposed to professionals uh, that are perhaps your ideals you know? and, uh, and therefore when you come back, you will be able to grow in uh, terms of knowledge, in terms of attitude, and uh, I'm sure that they will, they will be able to develop new ideas on how to go ahead and well, what I call a blue ocean. A blue ocean is one where they will be able to go ahead and think about new things related to their art, and uh, in that way, they bring back these new ideas to the Philippines and therefore growth in art and culture will happen. Hi, I am Tess Rances. I am the Asian 
Cultural Council Philippine Program Director. And I'm inviting you all to please come to Leon Gallery on February 22, 2 p.m. for the Asian Cultural Council Philippines Arts Auction. ACC has been here supporting artists since 1963. And we do what we do because we believe that through the arts and cultural exchange, we will be able to make this world a better place to be in 